Well, it's Friday morning. Uh, we got the upright silo full. The boys are going to end up covering that, leveling it off and covering that here in a little while. Now we are set up uh, to put high moisture corn into bone. Now we have the roller mill set up with the blower removed from it. And what this roller mill is going to do is it's going to dump into, we set some bales of hay here just to use as a backstop. The roller mill is uh, going to go into the auger and then the auger is going to go over the wall there and into the bunk that we're building. So we'll get uh, things started up here and then we'll kind of show you what we have going on. same piece of equipment that we use to get the corn up into the silo as we are uh, using down here. Now we took the blower off the back of this roller mill so the corn is just coming out of the back of it going into the auger here and then the auger is going up over the wall. down here standing in the bunk that the corn is going into and the beauty of this setup is we don't have to handle this corn again uh, in the past what we have done is we've had to fill a bunk up above and we've had to auger that corn over into another truck and then take that truck up and dump it into the bunk but because these bunks up above are up on top of the hill make that platform there higher we can just go over the wall with the with the auger there and then what we'll end up doing is we'll end up pushing this corn back to the back of the bunk and then we'll start packing it in with the tractor that's got the blade on it now that roller mill is an automatic roller mill that's the brand name is automatic it's got 36 inch long rolls in it and that'll do roughly a ton of minutes uh, might be a little faster than that, but we can generally unload 20 ton in about 15 to 20 minutes. And it goes pretty quick. It'll keep up to two combines the size of ours. So it's not a bad process to do it that way. Um, we've got all the trucks full now. Uh, we've just, just got to get this truck unloaded. Um, we did get a little bit of a rain shower that moved through here this morning. Now we are doing high moisture corn, so the only thing that that will have affected is the uh, plant itself. It might be uh, a little harder to go through the combine, but we're gonna try it anyway here. So once this truck is empty, I can take that to the field and I can start in uh, combining corn. Uh, as you can see, the sun off to the west the, the, we've got better weather coming this way so the sun is shining back that way there's not as much cloud cover so we anticipate on it being a decent day here today so I'm gonna get this one off I'm gonna get another truck back in for Joe and uh, we're gonna keep getting after it here we'll have to get one of the guys to come down here in a little while and pack that and they're gonna level that silo there off 
and cover it. That silo is full. We're not going to refill it or anything. We were planning on doing that this year because we didn't end up refilling it last year and it ended up settling about 12 feet. So it is what it is. We've got a lot of space here to put the rest of this corn that um, is going to be high moisture. Any corn that is uh, below 25% we're going to take to uh, Genoa Grain to have them dry it and then they'll bring it back as corn meal. So we're going to get after it here. Keep on keeping on, right? We're just starting to get some snow here. I had to step out of the combine to use uh, the men's room here and I figured I'd better check the screens on the combine to see if we've got any snow accumulation on them. I got a light here I got to turn on and then we can look inside the uh, back of the combine here. So far so good. Usually that front screen up there gets blasted over with snow and uh, usually what we do is we can just grab the big air compressor, blow air on it and we can buy ourselves some time. So by the looks of it we're going to be able to keep going for a little while. It, it's not really spitting all that much. Providing it doesn't uh, providing it doesn't snow any harder than it is, we should be all right. And the snow is kind of dry like anyway, so. Well, we might as well jump back up in the cab where it's warm. This corn's doing pretty good here. It's uh, 
it's rather heavy or you know it's it's yielding pretty good starting to pick up a little bit more it's almost like a sleet now it's a little wetter it was almost like a dry snow when it started and um, now you can see the little bit of the accumulation up on top of the head I have plugged the tailings elevator once already here and um, we're starting to plug up in the back so we're gonna have to call it a day we'll have to come over in the morning blow these screens out and depending on how much snow we get tonight we might not get anything but uh, we definitely need the sun to work on the corn here so that we can continue to uh, run it through the combine and I'll show you what it's plugging up here see that screen way up front there it's all caked up with crap so we got to clean that out in the morning if we want to continue to go tomorrow um, it's just getting wet and then the, the wet corn dust and whatever sticks to that crap and it just plugs up the screens and it just creates a uh, a mess here so we're gonna have to shut down uh, we're gonna have to shut down tonight it's uh, just just about five o'clock here on Friday night and that's going to do it for today. I don't know what everybody else calls this stuff right here, but around here we call it unacceptable. We've got this tarp on here, and uh, I shouldn't have anything on there. What I need to do is, is put a strip of metal across here and bolt that tarp right to the right to the topper and I wouldn't have anything um, coming off because uh, really there's no excuse for it with the with the tarp on there plus the corn is um, got some moisture to it here so it doesn't flow like water like dry corn so but we're bridging way up too so with that being said folks that's gonna do it for this video we're gonna shut this down here tonight and uh, We'll come back at you tomorrow. So I want to thank you for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. And we will catch you at the next video, folks.